Hey, what's going on? Jackie Montgomery and John Boyle for Seahawks.com. And we are talking about the key matchups as your three and two Seattle Seahawks head to New York to take on the one and five Giants at MetLife Stadium this Sunday. Now, the big thing is that they have a lot of injuries in that wide receiver core. Brandon Marshall and Odell Beckham Jr. gone. What adjustments will they make to take on the Seahawks? Well, what we saw last week was them leaning very heavily on the rookie tight end, Evan Ingram. They had a lot more two tight end sets than they would have with their healthy receivers, and Ingram was the recipient of most of Eli Manning's passes. He had five receptions for 82 yards, far and away led the team in receiving. Great athlete, very fast, going to be a tough matchup for the Seahawks defense to just keep up with him and keep him in check. Now on the flip side, talking about the Giants defense, their front has been somewhat aggressive and our offensive line still dealing with who's going to play at left guard. So how do you see that matchup happening? Yeah, that's going to be a big one. You know, the Giants defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo is known for being an aggressive guy. Last week, Jason Pierre-Paul, he had three of his four and a half sacks this season, all came in one game. They had four sacks as a team. It looks like their defense is really kind of finding its way and they'll, they'll bring pressure from all over. So as you said, you know, some changes at left guard with Luke Jokel out. We're probably going to see a little bit of Mark Lewinsky and Ethan Posick. How, how the Seahawks line comes together and picks up that pressure is going to be really important for the offense. Now, the Giants run game in, the, in their last outing against the Denver Broncos, really able to get going against the Broncos, who at that time led the, team, led the league in stopping the run. Now, as we take them on, how do you see that run game being a factor, especially with those injuries to the receivers? Yeah, again, going back to the, to the injuries, they really leaned on the running game. The Giants didn't run the ball much in their first five games and didn't really attempt to. And then they go up against a really strong Denver defense and they carried the ball for 148 yards on the ground. So they showed they can do it. They've also had a lot of big plays in the running game. And as we know, as good as the Seahawks have been on defense, that's kind of been their one Achilles heel so far as a big play. So players and coaches feel like they've cleaned that up on defense, but that's going to be a big deal for the Seahawks. And, you know, it really goes both ways in the running game. They want to get their running game going as well. And the Giants, kind of like with their running game on offense, they weren't good early in the year. They were pretty good in the last game. So really how both teams perform on the ground could be very telling in this game. All right, well, the Seahawks coming off of their bye week, looking to pick up where they left off and looking for another win on the road. Kickoff is set for 125 Pacific, and you can watch it live on CBS or, of course, listen to it on the Seahawks radio network.